Are you guys ready for more Mike Portnoy? I know I am, so let's get right into it. This is Author of Confusion. It's a snappy snare. You know, it almost sounds like they're doing warm up practices or something before before like a, a practice session. You know, just a basic skill a scale on the guitar over and over again. <laughs> Like we had a foot cam last time. Hit right there. Picked up the beat a little bit. There's the vocals. And I want to run, but where can I hide? Author of confusion, your aim is to confound till I do not know which is up or down. Author of confusion, you play inside my mind, and I want to run, but where can I hide? Author of confusion, you start And you can really tell these guys just love their music, the music in general. Which is up or down, low or high, the truth is I don't 
<laughs> that was awesome. I really like the black acrylic uh, drum set also. Looks really cool. I don't think I've seen a black one like that. Scales in the beginning to a, a ballad over here. And there's so many changes in this song. vocal like all the different parts of vocals are or singing something totally different like different timing uh different no you know it, it's like a it's just all different but it's all syncing up and matching up perfectly it's just it's genius and then they just met up right there hold on That's not one more It's three different melodies right there. I mean, this took harmonies to a whole nother level. Now we're getting heavy again.
Holy shit, man. That ending was insane. All right, so that ending was just crazy. Um, At first, I thought he was just going to keep on creating drum fills. I didn't know it was going to turn into a whole a drum solo, and uh, which is kind of weird because they're doing a guitar solo on top of the drum solo. It wasn't too much, you know, like crazy. You, you would think that it's just going to be like too much going on uh, for the audience, but I guess. But um, it was it was just really cool. Um, it's like two duo solos, which you know doesn't really make it a solo. But anyways, um, God, that ending was insane. I was like, is he going to run out of drum fills eventually? And uh, you know, what else could he possibly come up with? He just tossed the whole drum fill idea aside and just turned it into a, a whole crazy solo. Man, now at first this is like one of the more easier songs I've heard from uh, Dream Theater. I didn't think it was going to get that crazy at all. I thought it was going to be pretty mellow and chill throughout the whole song. Yeah, no, it, they turned it up to 11 on at the end there. Now, I don't know when this song came out, um, but this video was uploaded like seven years ago. And it's crazy to see that Prague was this this crazy back in the day, you know, and um, it's just getting crazier and crazier as time goes on. But it's just so cool to go back in time and see, um, you know, how crazy it was getting back then. And it still stands up to like today's music, if not destroys a lot of today's music. When I hear music like this, it really makes me want to to just evolve as a musician even more so. It depends on the kind of person you are and the music you're writing. But like me, I like metalcore and... I write metalcore and it sounds like most metalcore bands, right? But when I hear music like this, it kind of really inspires me to uh, to change it up and try to make it more unique and to do something different because a lot of bands are not doing things different. You know, everyone knows what works, um, a catchy chorus, a good breakdown and just down tune guitars and that works. I mean, it's what fans want what they've always wanted they continue to want it still even though everyone is complaining about things being generic and uh, boring but uh still it's like those are the songs with the catchiest choruses the heaviest breakdowns those are the ones that like modern metalheads really enjoy and get numbers i mean honestly and don't get me wrong there's a lot of really badass musicians and bands out there right now you know we got aviations animals as leaders obviously periphery um that's just to name a couple you know some of the popular ones but if you haven't heard aviations i think if you like this this uh dream theater stuff you will love aviations man i'm actually going to do a reaction to their new music that has just been releasing um pretty pretty recently and uh, i think they have a drum playthrough and everything i just haven't gotten around to it but we're definitely gonna check that out anyways i've been talking enough already this was awesome mike was amazing as always i love the acrylic black drum set crazy drum solo at the end what'd you guys think about the video let me know in the comment section below don't forget to hit the discord link and join the discord come talk to me and other metalheads and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will see you on the next video